Good morning, everyone. How you doing? Um, have some interesting things going on today. Uh, something I'll show you in just a couple of minutes. But uh, I have decided to go ahead and move my vehicle out of storage. I did this about actually almost uh, two weeks ago, uh, probably before I made my last video. Reason being is. Um, you know, just driving the van around uses a lot of fuel. And I mean, it makes sense that if you have a small car, it's got a four cylinder engine, it's going to get good gas mileage. Why, um, you know, why drive the van around all the time other than to sleep in it and to use it for basically a home, right? So, anyway, I pulled my vehicle out, been driving it for a while. And uh, yesterday, uh, I was driving back from work and um, I noticed the car felt funny. I don't know if. Uh, it, I guess the word to use, it felt kind of unstable. So I pulled off the road after I got toward my destination and um, looked under the car, at the front of the car and at the back of the car. And so far, everything looked good. I looked at the edge of my outside tires uh, on the rear and the tread still looked okay. But then I took my hand and I rubbed across the top of the tire and I couldn't feel tread on the other side. So I crawled underneath and looked at it from a distance and then underneath and realized that the tire from the mid portion of the tire to the out or to the inside of the tire toward the axle was completely barren, bald. And I'm like, wow. And then I noticed that the other tire was exactly the same way. So that, you know, to myself, I thought, okay, well, maybe it's a defective tire because I did buy the tires new. But I started to think about it. Um, the owner told me when I bought the car that um, he had problems with the rear tires, but he didn't say how much the tire. He just said that he kind of worn more than normal. Well, they're, they're wearing a lot more than normal. And um, my guesses are it could be just an alignment which is what I'm going to go get checked out to see, you know, they pop it up there, take a look at the alignment. Or if they get it up in the air, they can kind of give me an idea. I can look underneath and see if something's damaged, uh, which also could be causing the tire wear. So uh, I'm going to go ahead down to um, discount tire in my little car, and uh, I'm going to check it up. Before I do, though, I'm going to go take you outside and just kind of show you what I was looking at. So bear with me here, and I'll be back within a second as I get out of the van and head over to my car. So let me get to the back of the car here. So these are the tires that I'm talking about. Let me crawl underneath here so you can kind of look. I don't know in the darkness if you can tell really well. Um, I want to turn my camera over, but what you got is, so you've got tread to here, but then when you get to the inside of the tire here, it's completely bald, almost all the way out to here. So just the edges where you can see the tread here is where the tread is still good. Move across to the other side. Uh, maybe you can see it a little better on this side, but you can see how you can see the tread here, but then when you get into the inside of the tire, the tread completely disappears. So, I've looked underneath and checked it out to a certain point and I really don't see the damage up there by the axle, but there is a little point right here that it's pushed out a little bit. Like maybe somebody hit something or possibly there was something attached to it like a chain and the car tried to pull away from the chain. Maybe it was locked on a trailer. I mean, I don't know. but. I suspect that it's probably a bent axle because if this is where this indication is on the axle here uh, in the back support, if it's been bent, then I'm thinking, you know, the axles are not very wide, they're very thin, and I'm thinking that there's probably maybe the axle got pulled downward, and that would indicate why the tread is worn on the inside of each of these tires. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy one of the tire places here, like uh, Discount Tire uh, or a place like that, and I'm going to have them pull it up, look at that, and see if, if, if it is a bent axle or if it's something else. So let's get back to you here in just a few. 
So it, um, I went to um, Discount Tire and they went ahead and pulled it up and took a look at the inside or the bottom side of the car. Turns out it is a bent axle. So, uh, and actually it's been pretty good. It's not, you can really tell by the naked eye, but the um, support has like a, a V support on top of the, um, on top of the axle and the axle runs across it. So when evidently a chain or something of force pulled on that metal bracing, it also pulled the axle down, which is why the insides of the tires are towed upward on the outside and the inside is getting most of the road. So their suggestion is replace the axle, which cost-wise, I already checked into that as well. It's $1,500. Or find some way of getting cheap tires and just keep rotating them until I decide to replace the axle or get rid of the car, whichever comes first. So I've come to a place, it's called the Tire Store. I'll film that in a few minutes. If I choose to get tires here, depending on what the price is, um, I will f I'll start filming so you can see it. But at this point, I'm going to see if I can get it done as cheaply as possible. So we'll see how this all works out. So I've come to this place. Uh, you can kind of see it's called the Tire Store. And it's just a shack with lots of tires. And uh, so I came in talked to a guy here and he found me a set of tires to put on with labor and everything it's going to cost me about seventy dollars both the tires have good treads so I'm going to run a lab on the tires go about you know, date it for today put my mileage down and let the car run for a while and see when the tires get bald like they are right now so in the case that they do um, the guy that works here tells me he does mechanic work on the side and possibly could replace an axle for me which would be a lot less than 1500 So anyway, I guess we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. But uh, for now, I'm just going to put tires on and, um, and get it done and uh, start checking things out. So anyway, that's my short video for today, just having to do with nothing really interesting, certainly like going out and looking at places. But uh, anyway, if you like my video, please like. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, please do. And uh, again, hope you enjoyed today. And you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you in the next video. See you later.